Yes, so, so when, when we are selecting, we still don't know at this stage uh, which one, they might look good, but they may not still have all the characters you are looking for. So you have to continue testing for two or three more years until you are sure about uh, that it does combine uh, all the good traits which farmers require. So, so what we are going to do, we will be uh, pulling these plants one by one. We will thresh them one by one in different envelopes. It goes on a table with petri dishes on it. So, and then those seeds are poured in those petri dishes and visually we look at the grain, how the grain looks. Grain should be shiny, should be large, should be plump and also should be uh, uh, vitreous, uh, uh, well I said shining which is very really similar thing. And those which have, the, those plants which gave that kind of grain, they will be kept for then planting them as a small plot. So what you see as a plant then will be looked as a small plot of uh, one square meter more or less. Then we visually look at them how that plot looks because you know you don't grow individual plants you grow these plants as a plot where the, you have many plants we the best looking one which have uh, again desired height uniform uh, good spike morphology they are harvest and resistance to the rusts they are harvested and then we, then we have to put them in much bigger plots, what we call yield trial plots. And also they need to be replicated, means in a, a comparison trial where you put your best variety, which farmers are growing, and these new, let's say possible future varieties together, side by side, uh, in a statistical design which goes with it, uh, the, you grow them, you harvest them, you record uh, many characteristics uh, when the, the, uh, the plants start to flower because there is a big variation uh, in wheat in days to flowering, days to maturity and then yield. So, so those which pass all that test, they go eventually uh, beyond cement uh, after further testing. So it's a very long, long, long procedure. We are in somewhere, you could say, in the middle of it. Right now what we are doing, selecting plan. Three years more are required to complete the procedure. So three years before this, three years after this. We can develop a new, uh, new, we can develop something which we think is a variety, but uh, in each country or even in Mexico, it is mandatory to test the, uh, what we call candidate varieties at many field sites under very diverse uh, environmental conditions and use that data, their performance data, to determine whether it's worth giving that to farmers or not. So they must be superior. They have to show their superiority in, in performance or resistance to diseases or quality, uh, uh, or processing quality, but uh, in some areas now also nutritional quality is being looked but not, not yet uh, has become an important, very important character for the release, but will be considered, uh, I think, in the next uh, four or five years as an important criteria that a grain also is more nutritious, like has more zinc or iron. So, so still we are far away. So total procedure If you go, uh, if you don't use shortcuts, and I will explain what that shortcut is, it will take you uh, something like 12 to 15 years from the time you make the cross combination and when the farmers have the variety. 
So Dr. Borlaug uh, started the first shortcut which he called shuttle breeding. So, so what he did in, in this case was uh, he, one, he harvested wheat in Obregon. Then he took all the seed to highlands of Mexico. In summertime, you can also grow nice wheat crop. And by doing that, he cut this uh, eight or nine years of selection phase to four and a half years. And, and, and that means in the fifth or sixth year, you could initiate uh, the large scale testing of wheat materials uh, uh, at multiple sites, which we call variety registration trials. And depending on the country, you, you need minimum two years of data, uh, 15 to 30 sites, some places even 40 sites, uh, to determine the superiority. So you add another couple of years after that. So, so I think it still probably will take you eight years when you start and when you deliver variety to farmers. There are some people are trying to cut that out by one or two years, but uh, the cost becomes very high in that case.